Hi guys! Installing an IP camera over a distance of 100 meters can be challenging due to the limitation in Ethernet cable length. Actually, you can easily overcome this distance with a PoE switch. So in today's video, I'm going to demonstrate how to install an IP camera over a distance of 100 meters using a WebSmart PoE switch. PoE switch is a network switch that incorporates power over Ethernet technology. It provides both power and data through a single Ethernet cable and eliminating the need for a separate power unit. It enables the deployment and management of PoE compatible devices such as IP cameras, wireless access point and etc. by providing power to those devices directly through the Ethernet infrastructure. Now, using PoE switch in an IP camera system offers many advantages. It reduces clutter and saves time and effort during the setup. Also, allow for flexibility camera placement as it removes the reliance on nearby power outlets. Also, allow for remote control and troubleshooting of the cameras, which can enhance maintenance efficiency. However, the PoE technology has a distance limitation due to resistance and voltage drop that occur in the Ethernet cable as the power is transmitted. The voltage drop can result in sufficient power reaching the connected device, leading to operational issues or completely power loss. So how can we reach a longer distance if IP cameras are at a further distance location? Typically, we can add a PoE extender to amplify the power and signal and extend the reach of the Ethernet cable. It allows for longer PoE distance. Or you can use the same configuration on your PoE switch. For example, this PoE switch, you can turn on the CCTV mode. Then the network speed of all the PoE ports will drop down to 10 megabit per second. Now this is the WebSmart PoE switch. It allows for configuration on web, so you can set the bandwidth down to 10 megabit per second on the specific port through web-based management. And this port can support up to 200 meters. And I'm going to show it later. Now let's move on to the demonstration board and I'll show you the setup for today. Let's take a look what we need today. I'm going to use this WebSmart PoE switch to connect with two IP cameras at the edge first and then use the configuration on web to extend up to 200 meters. This WebSmart PoE switch combines the convenience of web-based management with the PoE technology. It is compatible with IEEE 802.3 AF and AT standard and up to 30 watts of output power per port. There's 120 watts total power budget and eight 1000 megabit per second PoE ports and two 1000 megabit per second SFP port to provide long distance high bandwidth and low latency fiber optic link, which is ideal for small to medium sized network that require a balance between simplicity and functionality. So now let's do the connection together. So now let's use a sharp edge cord to connect our main network router with the NVR first and it's already connected to the monitor to display video later on. And then using another Ethernet cable here to connect with the WebSmart PoE switch. Let's plug it here and power it up from the back. You can see the indicated lights are getting on. Today we are going to connect with two IP cameras. So I'm going to plug them in first. Two Ethernet cable here and connect with our two IP cameras at the edge. Let's plug it in here. The first one is our PDZ camera and the second one is our 4K high definition camera. All right, and we can see they're moving already. They're getting power and data at the same time with only a single ethernet cable. Let's give it a little time. Now it's all showing up and I can see my hand moving in the video. 
So now I'm going to show you how to use a web configuration to extend the distance for 200 meter. So now you can see I add 200 meter Ethernet cable in between. So let's use the computer to change the web configuration first. We are going to go on to the web and here under switch setting we have port settings. Let's change port number one and two, maybe, yes, two, to 10 megabit per second and hit the apply button. So now you can see port number one and two already down to 10 megabit per second. But make sure you save the configuration. So we have to go to system setting and device management. This is the save configure. Let's hit the save configure button so we can save the setting. And everything is done now. We are going to unplug this and then use this ethernet cable here to connect to port number one. Remember, port number one and two can supply 10 megabit per second and a longer distance. And let's come over here. We have two 100 meter ethernet cable. So we need to join them, use the coupler. Join them together, we will have 200 meters in total. Unplug this one and use this great ethernet cable to connect with the PTZ camera. And we can see it moving. The image should come up soon. Let's give it a little bit of time to zoom in. Here we go. And you can see my hands moving around. And this is a live video and we're done. So what if we need a longer distance? You can use the fiber optic cable. And here's a video on how to use the WebSmart PoE switch to set up an IP cameras using the fiber optic cable. And thank you so much for watching us today.